Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do beer stuff here. A little bit of West Coast hopeful goodness. Form of New Park Brewing. This is a collab, right? And Widowmaker Brewing. This is their Brainer Park. Yeah. Brainer Park. It's a triple dry hopped, hazy, triple IPA. Comes courtesy of my boy Chris from Soul Soul Talk. Go check him out. Instagram. And I'll link that below and all that fun stuff. Uh, he sent this off, and I'm excited. I'm not a big triple IPA guy, but, you know, I dig me some North Park. Get their stuff every now and then. Widowmaker. I don't think I've had anything from them yet. I could be wrong. Um, but we have an Incognito Cryo Freestyle Raku and Freestyle Nelson Savine Hopped Triple IPA with Citra. <laughs> um, San Diego, 10% alcohol by volume. You got your little uh, Krang. Guy, the guy that was in his little Ninja Turtles, but Ninja Hops. Um, or is that Big Brain or something like that? Because Krang's, Krang's, no, that's Ninja Turtles. What am I talking about? I'm old. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, we're going to dive into this. There's no date in the can, so I couldn't tell you when it was uh, canned. I'm sure you all know. Let's see. But I did the artwork. I can get down with it. Triple IPs have to have to show and prove for me to really gonna get all hot and bothered but if anybody's gonna do it north park was probably game so um we're off to a good start because that's exactly what you want your hazies to look like triple or otherwise just does it lacks that really rich kind of orange core to it um has this bright kind of you know apricot juicy pear juicy kind of thing going on with it soapy edge a bit of creaminess pinky finger white as white could be head we're off to a very good start let's get a nose not huge. Aromatically in a nose, I'll tell you that. Citrus. Pineapple. Brightness. Comes off more like a single IPA or even a pale ale, aromatically, for me, to be perfectly honest with you. Not saying that's not going to change the taste, but it's just not jumping out of the glass. Talking about something 10% triple dry hopped, all kinds of monkers craziness. It lacks that volume in the aromatics. It smells really nice. Um, it definitely comes off as real juicy juiciness. Um, but again, just lacks this kind of aggressiveness, this two by four to the face. It's triple IPA. I want it to be aggressive. That's what that ABV is there for. It smells small. I know a lot of people dig on the a, a drinks really, really small hazies chain. I think that's the majority of people. I'm the opposite. I want my fives to drink like eights and I want my tens to drink like twelves. Um, anyway, but I like the aromatics. I do. Just a little, a little more would uh, would do me proper. Let's dive in. Cheers, y'all. That's good. It does not fall short on the taste. Let's put it that way. If anything, it lulls you to sleep, and then you drink it, and it just an absolute. Thunderstrike. I don't know what to say. That's a weird word to use. Man, it is very, very vibrant. The fruit in here, tropical juiciness, like almost juicy fruit gummy, on top of this bright pineapple citrus combination. But with like, it's like, it's not fooling around. It is that two by four to the face of flavor. There's a nice sturdy bittering to help prop up that big fruit juicy sweetness. Because it is sweet. It's triple IPA. I know it's going to be sweet. It's carbonic forward. So they're, they're getting a lot of their bittering. They're propping it up with a decent amount of carbonic acid. It does not do anything bad this amount, usually when it gets this carbonic, hazies do, I tend to be like, eh. There's just too artificial bitter from seltzer water kind of thing going on, and it really kind of irks me. But with how vibrant that fruitiness is, and how juicy fruit gummy it is. So it's it's almost confectionery in a sense, but in a very, I like it. And in, in, in some negative way, I don't mind the way that seltzer water carbonic thing is coming off. Because there is, like, you know, I'm not a big seltzer person, but there's a couple of companies making, like, a sweetened seltzer water. <laughs> and I can get down with that. 
but straight seltzer water I can't because that carbonic thing just bothers me so much. Again, it's more of a me problem than a you problem. A lot of people aren't even phased by it. But the way that fruitiness comes off and how aggressive it is. Now, each subsequent sip, it's getting a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, but I ain't hating on it. Now, a few wise, it's fine. It's not going to be confused with thick and sultry and soupy, um, but it's not going to be confused with thin either. It just, honestly, the way that fruitiness comes off at the get and how it comes off very much that citrus, pineapple, citrus leaning into a heavy dose of Fru juicy fruit gum juicy fruit gum is the name of the game here it's a very cool ride it's a very very cool ride and a very very well done triple ipa again very few and far between that i really really get down with triple ipas and this is one of the i do is it my favorite of all time probably no it's not there's ones that have done me better is it Mount Rushmore status? Probably. Especially as of late. Uh, you know, uh, I can't remember the last time I had a really bonkers good triple IPA. It might have been over a year. Um, so it's definitely on that. Of all time, no, there's ones that have done me better. You know, straight out of laboratory, equilibrium. There's a other half one, I think. Maybe even um, Hot Butcher one. A couple other ones that might be ahead of this. But it's worthy of being in an all-time conversation. But definitely in the Mount Rushmore of lately. Um and there's really not much else to say about the beer. You know what I mean? It really is that attack, juicy fruit, citrus, pineapple. Um, you know, mouth feels fine. Nothing too crazy, but it's not negative in any stretch. Carbonic forward, not going to get too bothered about it because of the way the beer presents itself. Like I said, Mount Rushmore for me. Valued availability. I mean, I have no idea. People. New Park, Triple IPA, Wayfinder. Um, collab. Or is it Widowmaker? Not Wayfinder. Widowmaker. I'm guessing this is like probably like 30 bucks and change a four pack. I would never pay that, but I'm glad I got it. Thank you very much, Chris from Soul Soul. Um, and I'll leave you with, I feel like what we have this. If you like triple IPAs, if you like big old gigantic hazies, you'll dig this. So there you go. A review in the books. Um, North Park, have you been in the brewery? Have you had their beers? Have you had this particular beer? What did you think about it? Anything you can think of. All that fun stuff down there. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little... Big triple IPA action. We'll see you next time. Cheers, y'all.